we look to the past, what was actually already developing uh, during the 20th century, how many times we have increased the use of the resources, and if we extrapolate that kind of behavior to the 21st century, then we can easily see that in many cases we would have uh, the problems with the shortage of resources. But maybe in the, uh, in the midterm it would not be the shortage of resources itself. I think more critical is that if you use those resources in an irresponsible way, that you cause a lot of environmental and health consequences which we have to take into account. And I think this is the more immediate concern. Leadership comes from everywhere, so it should come from the top level. I think that the challenges which we are globally, collectively facing are requiring better global leadership. I'm really happy that we have adopted the Sustainable Development Goals, which are for me a kind of a new global contract for the humanity that uh, we understand that we have to change some of the behavior uh, which was not leading us in the right direction in the past. But if we will wait as individuals or as companies only to uh, uh, leadership coming from a higher level, then we will absolutely miss all the opportunities. We all need to be the leaders on our own level if we want the change to happen. Yeah, the impact on the global scale, it's absolutely coming from the countries uh, where you have more people where it's higher critical mass. It's more of the consumption of the various types of resources, obviously. Those are in the majority of them are in, in quick development phase. So, uh, but for them to change, I think it's fundamentally that us in the developed part of the world show them the way, show them that we are ready and willing to change the way we produce and the way we consume. Because if we will not do that, it is uh, practically impossible to expect that this will happen in the uh, developing world. We are also those who are to a large extent mastering the knowledge, the innovation. Uh, and uh, it is critically important that we focus that uh, knowledge and innovation on those societal challenges and that we share that knowledge and innovation with the colleagues in the rest of the world so that they can leapfrog and do not repeat some of the development mistakes which we have done in developed part of the world. No, I, I'm simply really happy that the circular economy idea has survived, it's back on the agenda even more than it was during my time. During my time it was considered to be a kind of uh, environmental package and uh, whenever it's environmental package people do foresee that this has uh, effects on the uh, not good effects on economic development. In the debate which happened in the meantime we have actually started to understood more or less that this is to a large extent economic package with uh, good side effects on environment and health. And uh, I think that's important because when you have that kind of understanding of the circular economy, then, then it has much higher chance to get more supporters to be developed not only on the governmental uh, area, in the governmental sector, in the public sector, but also in the business sector. And I think that this is actually happening. You have always had good thinkers uh, a good academia, uh, good institutions which were really progressively thinking and that was also my understanding always uh, when I was looking to that from the, uh, from the European level. Professor Ekens is part of International Resource Panel which I'm co-chairing and we collaborate a lot. Uh, the molecular idea which he presented was uh, extremely interesting. Uh, what I think it's important to understand from this uh, policy and political perspective is that until us who are taking care, who are responsible for environment, are predominantly the only one who are, who, who are talking also about ec economic story, while the, those who are responsible for economy, treasury and so on, are not talking about the development opportunity which is emerging from the preservation of environment, we don't have the full cycle. So we need all in the government to understand the concepts and we need that they do understand that the, the one who is responsible for the budget is not responsible only for the budgetary balance, it's responsible also for 
how, uh, what is the structure of the taxes, because this is leading you to a certain development direction, direction that you don't see the, green, the public procurement only through the lenses of cutting the costs, but as a major development tool, which you have to use if you want to have the right economy in the right way, shape, so that you would avoid uh, this uh, environmental, social and economic imbalances in which we are currently living. So, a lot of work still to be done, but uh, I was uh, always pretty much happy with what was coming from, the, from Britain.